man, the money becomes bad. But if the money is in the hands of good man, it's a good money. The same money, but depend on the carrier. If the money, it is the same money. If the money is in the hands of bad man, it's a bad money. But if that money is in the hand of good man, it's good money. That is why if somebody, if you have, hey, this is your money. Who is the person that have the money? That's the question. That's it. If you touch it, you satisfy it for touching it. It is you. Sometimes when uh, some student, they will bring their pen, their pencil for, for, for blessing, I laugh. I say, is it your pencil that will write your examination? Or you? If your pen and your pencil is blessed, and you that carry the pencil and pen are not blessed, what are you talking about? In the same day, Bible we are talking about depends on who carry the Bible. The same Bible I'm carrying now, if you carry it, you may not be able to say anything or bring anything out of it, depending on the person that have the Bible. It's the same way. If the bad man carry money, the money become bad. If the good man have the money, it's a good money. If the bad man carry Bible, it's a bad man. If the good man carry the Bible, it's a good you hear the word of God. This is just it. So see, your seed must move your faith, and your faith must move God for, 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 for freedom. Okay, um, our coordinator, can we just hear one? Because uh, we have taken so much, we will not be able to hear two testimony, just one. So, so that we usher, we use that to usher ourselves to work to another dimension. Nous allons maintenant passer à la section des témoignages, des cas spéciaux. Nous allons regarder la vidéo de ce qui s'est passé quelques semaines auparavant avant d'écouter la personne en direct. Restez connectés. What are you thinking about? Ask your neighbor. I can hear you. I can hear you. Again and again. Yes, that is your life. What you are thinking about, that is your picture. What you are thinking about. What am I thinking about? My life is what I think about. Your life is what you think about. All day long. So we are, we are listening to, we want to hear just the number one, only one. Man's life is what he thinks about all day long. In those moments. You listen to that? What we are trying to drag here is a lesson to every one of us. When I meet a gentleman, I say, why is over? I say, my wife is inside the church. I say, ah. He say he has only one wife. I say, I'm talking of, there's another one I'm talking about. He said, no, I have only one wife. So if I'm not truly here from God, there and then, maybe I want to scatter family. Okay, let them play it back again. And I now take him back that there's a controversy. But when I see the way he was nodding his head and uh, the heart was beating, I said, okay, okay, we see. Okay, Uncle Mario, don't worry. We see. You know, I look at the heart, your heart. Uh, your heart. Straight. I look what you are thinking about. Not now, what you are thinking about. What you have been thinking about before coming here. 
That's why I put all day long. Play it back. Play it back. This is enough. The man of God wants to scatter the family. Is that all? The, his reply means, this man wants to scatter my home. That's your first wife. No, that's my only wife. There's trouble. We, we, we want to fight now. When I realize that uh, I, I have to take, explain little. So please take it back again. Let's watch it again. We are going to the root of the problem. Mm -hmm. I have only wife. <laughs> I have only wife. Man of God, you are a liar. But when I see that uh, this data is not conducive, I don't want to go too far. I say, I want to see you. Okay, let's hear what happened today. So if the man of God is talking to you, the cause of your problem, the cause. The issue of this Psalm 23, I think I still need to talk about it this week, or if I have time. So how to use this bracelet faith? I think I need to explain so that you will not begin to compare with whatever you have seen in a religious circle. No. It really to help you. If you know the importance of it, like you are sitting down now, you are not supposed to sit down like that. You need something from on the outside. Yes. While your heart is going, something on the outside too will be working with you, something on the inside. Look at how I told you when I was a baby Christian, I, the, the, the Psalm 23. In a day, I can, I can think, I can, I can meditate hundred times. Even when I was sleeping, I could remember in those days, when I'm sleeping in those days when I was very young, I'm still young anyway. <laughs> because people say I have a white beard. That is not an evidence of old man. Eh? So, uh, when I was, my people used to say, when I'm sleeping, they would just see me start to rehearse the Psalm 23. You like my children, I don't know, they would just wake me, what's wrong, what's happened, what's happened? I would just wake up. I would be sleeping, lying, even when I was in school. Uh, uh, even in the afternoon, in the school, when I'm sleeping like this, I will suddenly has it. Just they will now touch me, say, "What's wrong? What's wrong?" But people that are Christian, they will say, "Oh, this man is is reading something to tell me because it become part of me." I first I use that instrument first to destroy all forces to scat to 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 scare them away. So that some dominating first taking over my my the entire body before I begin to grow. That psalm is very powerful. If you agree with me, let us see your hand. Very, very powerful. Read it. Read it and think about it. That psalm enter me, destroy all the forces, and and uh, over. You know when you say overhauling, to overhaul your vehicle. You know what it means. That is the sound. Because 20, 100 times, I will, when I'm walking, I'll be talking like this, I'll be meditating it, meditating it, meditating When I'm sleeping, I will be talking about it again. Even when I'm talking, when I'm sitting down, I have nothing to think about. I allow that sound to take over my life. After that, then the word of God begins to, to expand, to take dominion. You have. I've given you the key. Next, 
meeting, I will tell you about that psalm. That psalm, what happened to David when that psalm came today? It's a powerful psalm. And many people, they don't know the meaning of great passions. They don't know the meaning. If you allow that sound to dominate in your mouth, and you are you successfully make it dominate in your mouth, and fool your mouth, and finally enter your heart, wow, you'll be eating with God like this. So this brought about this bracelet faith we are having here. That when you have it, you begin to. I mean, I'm writing a book, a pamphlet that will follow it. How to, how it can help you. Many things you are doing, like you are traveling, you are inside the vehicle, you are traveling inside the airplane or ship, or you are inside the vehicle, or you are sitting in the church. Or you are alone, you are lying down inside the house, you say you want to rest. It's a time. A resting time is time to meditate mostly. You must observe two times work time and rest time. Rest time, time to receive, and work time, time to give. Now, this is my work time. I'm given what I've received in my rest time. If I've not received anything in my rest time, I will not have anything to give you. But you, your rest time, you are not receiving anything than the blaspheming, talking up and down, this, that, 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 business failure, everything, did you run up and down to club and the meeting and all of that, did, 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 and all that, fighting, disagreement, did, 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 did. Newspaper alone reading, reading, reading novel, a lot of things running up and down, this and that and that and that and that. These are the you want to use your rest time for. Rest time, time to receive. Working time, time to give. Jesus observed these two times rest time and work time. Okay, let's watch the video so that we listen to the brother. la prophétie de l'homme de Dieu, il disait oh, ta femme, oh, ta première femme, il a dit qu'il n'a qu'une seule femme, sa seule femme, il a dit que je veux te voir qu'il y a une controverse. Alors maintenant écoutez leur témoignage en direct. Vamos a ver el video de la profecía que recibió este hombre acerca de donde estaba su esposa. Este hombre dijo que era su única esposa, verdad, TV Show, que era su primera esposa y él dijo que era su única esposa. Vamos a escuchar su testimonio. Emmanuel, Brother Emmanuel, wow, my name is Henry Nwa James, and the person beside me is my lovely wife. Like you can see from the telecast on that fateful day, the servant of Jesus Christ was moving about, the man in the synagogue, senior prophet T.B. Joshua. And I was come, as he was coming towards my place, in me I was praying, I said today, this servant of God will talk to me. And I was thinking of how he's going to speak on my breakthrough, my millions, my businesses, <laughs> not knowing that he's taking me to a different direction. So when he eventually got to me, he asked me, he said, can I speak to you? I said, go ahead and speak, sir. He asked my wife, and my wife just left for a meeting. 
I said, my wife had just left for a meeting. He said, your first wife. That one, I, I couldn't understand anything again. Before I could know it, he said, there's a controversy. And as God may have it, as, my, as God may have it, before I could get to my house that first full day, my wife has returned from the meeting. My mother-in-law, my brothers and sisters, they were all in the house. They were watching Emmanuel television. Because as I left the church, I didn't understand anything. My mind didn't even take me to where the Holy Spirit was taking me. So when I go home, the woman shouted, he said, ah, you, tell, you, you don't know what to tell man of God? Have you forgotten the story you told me about your daughter somewhere, somewhere? I said, oh, are, are you sure that's what man of God is talking? He said, look, look. I said, but you don't know. I don't know how to go about it now. I had to contact that my cousin. That's the only one now that knows later all about this thing. Immediately, you listen. The evil friend are saying, have you forgotten the story you told us? Even himself that told the story for many years, he has forgotten. Let's listen. Can you see many where we are coming from? Mm -hmm. So, when she told me, now my sense began to come back. I said, okay. I willingly gave her my cousin's telephone number to call. So when he called this young man, the woman said, right now, I don't know how to trace this girl, but meanwhile, give me some time. I will know what to do about it. And as God may have it, as we progress, one day that my cousin called me, said, Luko, the auntie to this your daughter is late now, so this is an opportunity for me to see her. I said, okay, when you see her, let us know. So as God may have it, the young man called us later and said, Luko, I have gotten her number. I have gotten the information about her. And when he tries to get back to the girl again, he couldn't get through to the girl. Before he could know it, after some time again, he called me and said, Luko, this lady, the husband has just died. That, uh, uh, that's the information I got right now, that the husband has just died. I said, wow, husband, okay? He said, husband? I said, okay, what do we do? He said, okay, this is an opportunity for us to see. Before he could know it, one day he called me, he said he has called the girl, that the girl is coming, and that as we should come. Unwillingly, I, I, in fact, I don't want to go. I told my wife. My wife dragged my purse and took and said, Look, let me go and see this thing. You want to keep me here in poverty? What are you saying? Don't you know what is happening to you? I said, Okay, oh, I'm sorry. Go, go, go and find out. Before we could know it, I, wa I was in my house. My wife called me back on telephone. They were crying all over. They were shouting. They said, Look at what I've done. This, that, that. I said, Bego, I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. Oh, I am very, very sorry. Please tell her, I am sorry. So that is how we came about it. Okay, as for the controversy that the man of God was saying, okay, we told somebody that the husband died. They told us that this man, they are going to bury. When I came, I reported the matter in the church. So, yes, I tried to report the matter. So, as the person that the husband died, they said the man is to be buried around 27th of uh, December. I said, okay, if that is the case, I'm going to send my wife and my family, let them go. As they get there, this burial was no longer conducted, which is the area of the controversy which the man of God is talking about. Plenty of controversy because as they came back, when I tried to inquire from her, I was told a letter has come from the court, you know, asking them to leave the house, that uh, the children, the wife are no longer belonging to the husband. I can't understand. I don't know anything. I kept quiet. I said, okay, well, since uh, this matter is before God, I want God to take, you know, So, why I forgot this matter, not just that I forgot it, but what happened is that it was those early days when I was a child, this thing was happening in my father's maternal home, you know? So, I used to, I'm a, uh, I do this culture care in those days. I used to go, that my father's maternal side is very close to where I used to go and do some, you know, playing and disco, joking here and there. So, that is the place I used to meet with this young lady who begat this girl. So when this matter happened, not that I did not hear, uh, my brother came and told me, look at what's happening in the village. Oh, this girl is pregnant. What do you do about it? He said, okay, if that is the case, you have to run away from here because everybody knows that this place is your maternal home. If this thing happens, I don't know what is going to be next. That is how I looked that place. I never get back to that place anymore. I run away from my father's maternal side where I used to make my own maternal home. And you know, because I was a baby, I don't know what was happening there. It was when I grew, when my brother, because this my cousin was coming to me, even right here in Lagos. 
He comes, he tells me, say, look, come on, look at what is happening. Look, I will ignore him. Every time I come, but when I got my child, I discovered that, no, this is my father's maternal side. And then it's not from the compound, it's not from my father's family. Myself, I can even marry from there. It was then I become, I become willing. I sent one of my brothers to go and meet my cousin and say, please, show him that girl. Hallelujah. We've been listening to the experience of Mr. Henry Noah James, who is explaining that the prophecy he received from Prophet T.B. Joshua uh, concerning his first wife and a controversy is very true. That when he was a young man, a long time before he got married, he had a relationship with a lady. He was very young at that time. The lady became pregnant, but because of the shame and everything attached to that, he denied that baby, and the entire family also denied that baby. And he said that when the man of God mentioned this to him, he didn't even think about it. It was only a friend who reminded him that he had told him a story about how he had impregnated a lady when he was very, very small. But since that time, he could not trace the girl. He had never seen the girl. He had no fatherly relationship with the girl. In fact, he didn't even know where the girl was. But after the man of God's prophecy, he asked a particular family member who knew about the case to try and trace this particular girl and found out that she had married but her husband had just died and there was a lot of controversy surrounding the death of her husband as the burial that was due to hold was unable to hold because there was a lot of controversy surrounding the husband's death and people were even accusing this girl of being behind her husband's death. Acabamos de escuchar el caso de este hombre que recibió profecía del hombre de Dios diciendo que dónde estaba su esposa. Él respondió que él, él era, estaba en la iglesia y que era su única esposa. Y este, oh, eh, este es como el profeta Tibi Joshua acaba de revelarle que había una controversia en, 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 en su vida a casa de esta mujer. Pero él no sabía que era esta su, su esposa. Él nos cuenta que hace mucho hubo un caso en el que él cuando era joven se, eh, tenía una relación con una mujercita, una señorita y, y quedó embarazada. Y al momento del nacimiento de, su, de ese eh, bebé, él negó a la niña. Y esa es a, a la profecía a la que se revela de que esta, mujer, esta niña fue abandonada por este hombre. Y después de muchos tiempos trataron de localizarla, pero no pudo localizarla porque ya no sabían de ningún rastro de esta señorita. Después de eso, eh, dice que... Nous voulons entendre la confession de cet homme qui parle de la prophétie de l'homme de Dieu, le prophète Bilchak, qui a dit que je vois une première femme, mais aussi une controverse. Il a dit que lorsqu'il a reçu la prophétie, il ne, il ne voyait pas de quoi l'homme de Dieu pouvait parler. Mais après cela, quand il est rentré à la maison, il a réalisé qu'effectivement, quand il était plus jeune, il a rendu une femme enceinte qui a donné un enfant, qu'il a renié. La famille aussi a renié cet enfant. Et depuis, il a complètement oublié, euh, oublié cette fille. Mais il a dit qu'après la prophétie, il a réalisé, il a commencé à tracer cette jeune fille et il a retrouvé cet enfant par la grâce de Dieu. So, so brethren, you can see this thing happened about 28 years back now. And I have not seen this girl with my eyes till today when I invited that my cousin who tried to help me to trace her. So we're in the church right now. For the first time I'm meeting her. So our brother is saying that this incident happened 28 years ago. And for 28 years he has never seen his daughter. But because of the prophecy, the daughter is in the church right now. And this is the first time he is about to see his daughter as a result of this prophetic message. Él dice que desde hace 28 años él no ha visto a esta a esta mujer que es su hija y dice que hoy en, ahí, aquí en la iglesia está su hija y que va a verla por primera vez desde hace 28 años. Nous voulons entendre maintenant que cette jeune fille, cette fille qu'il a abandonnée il y a très longtemps, est maintenant au sein de l'église et qu'il va la voir aujourd'hui pour la première fois. Thank you, thank you. I'm sorry. I, I think uh, we, we follow the the whole. I, there's need for me to come into the matter. You you listen to the prophetic word given to him. When I was asking him, hey, did, 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 did. he said no? I have only one wife. Did, did, did. What of the controversy controversy issue about concerning a child? He said no. That's nothing like that. So this is what he has been holding him in bondage. 
Look. A mind which is sick is a sick mind. I mean, a mind which think wrong is a sick mind. Tell your neighbor. I can hear you. A mind which think wrong is a sick mind. It's not only the person that have cancer or HIV or this or that. Many of you are healthy. To you, you are healthy. But the sickness you have is more than cancer. Many of you, when you go to the doctor, you are free. Your head is completely okay. Very strong. Nothing happened to you. Your blood pressure is okay. Everything is okay. But the sickness you have is more than those who have cancer. But you are, you are a dead living. Many are free. Healthy, head wide, complete, they are okay. But dead living. A mind which think wrong, which think wrong, which think error. Put it. I will put the word error. A mind which thinks error is a sick mind. Yes. Okay. If with this now, who is in the world that are not sick then? If there's anyone here that is, is not sick, tell me. Because this kind of sickness, doctor cannot diagnose it. If you tell doctor, doctor doesn't know what it means by. Mm -hmm. Even when you have nightmare every day, they beat you in the day, beat you in the day, go to the doctor, doctor will say, I can't say anything. A mind which thinks error is a sick mind. It's a good example. The, my brother is a good example in the past. What was thinking it was error. But today, look at. And this situation has actually had him in bondage for many years. The business collapsed, everything collapsed. I have been struggling to get this right no way. But he never he will never think there's something wrong somewhere. Not until this prophetic way. I said to him, My brother, why is that your wife? Which wife? No, I have one wife. My wife is in the church. You want to scatter my house? Inside me, I said, Well, I'm not here to scatter your house. He said, My wife is there, beautiful wife is sitting down. I said, Okay. But there's a controversy. He said, No. There's nothing like that. So since that time, we have been trying to put, see, it must, the, what I'm seeing must, I'm seeing it. And immediately he got home, he called, he said, ah, I forgot, this happened to me, this is, yeah, yeah. Okay, you could not trace it, but by prayer, we are able to trace it. The child is inside the church, he has never seen the child, but the child is inside the church now. <laughs> let the child, let, let the child come out. For how many years? Eh? It's 28 years now. 28 years now. You, you, you saw her last? Do you? I've not seen her before. Uh -huh. you, you don't even know her? Yes, sir. Okay, let's, let her come out. Come out. In this moment, we're seeing the daughter of this man. Que él la rech que rechazó desde hace 28 años estamos viendo en este momento. Look at this auntie. As I is looking, who is this man? 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 Who is this can you see the two pictures? Put the two faces, the husband, the father, and the lady. See? See the, uh, see the face. Is that not vomiting? See the two faces. See the two faces. Can you 
you stand up and tell God, God, reveal my own. Stand up. Stand up. Let God reveal your own. The father is there now, the daughter is there. They don't know whether to hug themselves or to greet themselves. I mean, the lady starts crying. At what age he has, I mean. Hmm. So, if not this prophetic way, the man will remain forever like that. He has collapsed. It will remain that collapsing because you could not trade the cause of the problem. But this is the cause. The revelation has come. Once again, next week I will talk about it. This Psalm 23 I'm talking about is a pattern of thinking. When your mind Married, married. That is, and your mind becomes saturated with it, married with it, and you is dominating your mouth, and you begin to think about it. You know it. You, first of all, there is nothing you can do. You have to memorize it first. From there, you begin to get it in, get it in. Get it in. And I told you the way in that psalm is 118. Shortly you can memorize it within a second, you know it. Begin to meditate it, to flush out all the. Mm. And I told you, memorizing the way cannot give power, cannot release the power of God. Take note of that. But what? But what? In thinking the thoughts, thinking the thoughts, thinking the war, thinking the thoughts, release the power. Like I have said, I say, the more you think about what you read, the more you become familiar with his voice. Memorizing the word cannot release the power of God, but by thinking the thoughts. Like we have said today, that Psalm 23 is a blessing for you today. Yeah. Yes. And I know many of you, as I'm saying it now, before they will leave the church, it will become part of them. So everything you need to, to pray for is inside there. If you read it very well, the prayer you offer is, is, is pregnant, it's inside that Psalm. What's this again? If man's life is what he thinks about, think about that Psalm 23 and see what will happen to you. And let's become part of you. When you are sitting down, part of you, before this, I mean, faith bracelets come out, it will really help you. So as you have it, you begin to think, if what you are thinking about now is that revelation, when I come out now, I will just talk about what you have been thinking about. So you may be seated. Thank you. So you have listened, you have seen the family. Wow. For the first time he's seen Oh. So, who is this man? 
That is my, he's my cook. He was the one that knows our secret. That's the one, yes. Is this your person? Yes, my cousin. Thank you. To put the cousin? Thank you. At the table, who is on the table? Why can't you have somebody in the, on the table? Madame dit que c'est son cousin, c'est le qui connaissait le secret. Que lui est cette fille? Well, I think. Uh, how old are you now? Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. This, they are your children. Yes, sir. You have to forgive your dad because. Uh, this is by revelation, it's not by a human being. It's not human huh? Not somebody, not you just wake up and begin to do the traces. It has been your prayer. What have been your prayers before now? We pray to see him. Yeah? Speak louder. All my life, I've been praying to see him. All your life, you have been praying to see him. But your mommy gave you some picture in the past. Speak louder. Move close. Can you come here? Eh? He didn't tell, she didn't tell me anything. Your mommy did not tell you anything? Yes, sir. How, we are very sorry because people want to learn from you because we have today is a glorious day. What kind of prayer you have been offered? Please tell us. How you offer the prayer? All my life, I've been staying with my grandmother. That is the person that I took as my mother. But I don't know she's my grandmother. So she died here in 1999. That was when I came to Lagos to stay with her son and the wife. So my SSE exam, the family did not register me. So one day, I was having an issue with them. So the wife now called me a bastard. The yes. husband now said, I behave like my father. So I ran away from the house. I went to meet my uncle because he lived closer to the house. So I now talked to my uncle that Uncle, see what this woman told me, that I'm a bastard. Did you know anything about it? If not, I will kill myself, or I will run away from the house. So he now told me that I have a father, but it's a secret. He said, what kind of secret that you will not tell me in this kind of my situation? Speak louder, please. So he now said it's a secret, that nobody knows about it except him, my mother, and my father. I said, okay. If you cannot tell me anything about it, it's better for me to run away. So I now run away from his house. Unfortunately, they find me. That is the husband and the wife where I'm living. So after my SSCE exam, she has a restaurant that is in mainland, uh, island. So she now, she said I should help her like be selling in her beer parlor restaurant. So that was where I was telling with her, I was staying and helping her to sell. All those through, all through those days, I was crying, I was weeping, because I was going through trials and temptation. Any little thing that I did, she would repeat that bastard. Anywhere I am, I'll be asking God, I need to know where I come from. So. She now introduced me to one man, that is my husband now, that I should go and marry him. That's how I was 15 years. Okay, it's all right. What, what will you, will you, you have, uh, I don't know what you will, will this is your daughter, Sando, Sando. Mm, I don't know. I don't know, I think I need to sit. And these are your children? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They're my, this is my first one, and this is the second one. Okay, so that. 
Okay, <laughs> I don't know. So we thank God for this this revelation, and uh, uh, we, the name of God is so wonderful. And uh, this is a job for you. Mm, since God has uh, shown so much, so much mercy and kindness, I don't know. So it's, So please, you take them to the, uh, let them have a uh, round table. Okay, we are not going to listen to your word here. Because uh, the members, they are very, they are very tense. Uh, I mean, I don't want to woo any emotional. So people are not, uh, people will not want to hear anything. Okay? So help me take them to the round table. Okay? The father, we, we, we will do the right thing over there. So not in the in the open here, okay? So please, my daughter, please. Thank you very much. Let's. Now we have a young woman who says that her mother has never said anything about her father. We have seen the stigma she has had since her infancy. She has always prayed that God could show her who her father was. Because uh, we we don't know the kind of we cannot ask the father to lead them for the daughter. And then we cannot, we don't. <laughs> so let, I think the father should do whatever he wants to do over there, not here, okay? Because uh, I know the father wants to be on his, no, not, okay? Mm, I don't know. So, so, so we, this is a church of all nations and different culture all over the world. And a different way of looking and different way of approaching things. It's okay, that's it. <laughs> so, be wise, you should understand. I, can, I will not be able to go too far beyond that. Where the, that kind of uh, father go to daughter, and, and you cannot expect a daughter to go and beg. He has nothing to beg now. He has a pain of the past. His father that has a duty to say, okay. He has never met the father and he don't know the father. And uh, not that they told the father about the history, but he denied it. But uh, not when the revelation come. So therefore, in this case now, we... Uh, uh, I don't know. So, uh, let it be like that. They will come next week to give testimony. Okay? As a father... As, as a father and daughter, they will, will come and give testimony. But the reconciliation there is not going to be where you will be and I will be. Okay. Let them set it down. Okay. So thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Wow. Um, the same revelation some time ago. That was a revelation that uh, actually brought out uh, a, a Baba and the wife. And uh, it's like at uh, the same time, the same time with this man on, on Sunday, Baba who married a woman. And uh, and I said they swallow something. So the woman vomited that thing last Sunday. Kauri. So Baba is, I think Baba too, I don't know. Because of time, we, we will not be able to go to that. Huh? Because the viewers all over the world, they have been bothering, they want to know what, what am I going to do. Because I said last time that uh, Baba until the wife of Baba come home, this lady too, she has to pay the price. He can't leave Baba without the wife, former wife come back home. So viewer has been written, sending me email, some praise, some condemn me. So I said, I know, by the, the, the last Sunday when they saw the cowry, I say, it's inside them. The, the lady vomited it out. I know many that uh, really look at it from modern angle will have changed their mind. So let's, let's, 
uh, where we're going is let's let's quick, let's quickly see the revelation. Can you let us see what happened here? Yes, sir. Oui, tu les sédateurs, nous regardons à nouveau la vidéo de cet homme qui était marabout. Il est tout chaud. Yeah. Quand il s'est passé à nous. Traditionnellement, il parle traditionnellement. Ok. C'est le Yahweh, il est le Yahweh. Ok. Et il est le Yahweh. The following Sunday, the Herbalist came back to the synagogue Church of All Nations with his family. Let's listen to them. Oru kwa mini... I won't eat the idea of la a day a month. I got only me get 80 years. The man says his name is Mr. Adiola Adeyemo and he's 80 years of age. What is your name, madam, and your age? My name is Adeyemo, 35 years. My name is Nike Adeyemo and I'm 35 years of age. Okay, Baba Ojiyan, Baba Oni on so esefa fun e. Mi Ojiyan, but e so esefa fun. Ozo, mo so, kan ti kini yan fi se eyan ni yan. After effect ni. You heard it from the woman. She is also begging the anointed man of God for a favor that when uh, she first met uh, the witch doctor that the witch doctor did an evil bond, a charm, to tie both of them together spiritually. And that if Baba should die today, it is certain that she also will die. That there was a particular witch doctor they met that revealed this to her, that Baba has done a charm to tie both of them together, and that Baba was very wicked to have done that, and that she should meet her mother and her father to make sure that Baba release her from this bond. So, please take it easy. I'm going to see Baba Y. And Baba Y will be delivered. We settle the Baba home. Baba will be delivered. Before you can be loose from the bondage, if you say you are in the bondage, which we all agree. Whatever challenges, whatever you must have swallow whatever you must have eaten through the table of enemy be flush out be flush out be flush out in the name of Jesus In the name of Jesus. Out! In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Out! Fuera. Watch, watch your screen. Watch your screen again. Watch your screen. Watch your screen. L'extérieur de l'église, entre de vomir, les substances poisonneuses à l'intérieur de son estomac. This thing is not by swallow. It is not by eating like the rivers. No, it's not going to the throat. It ends up by command. They say whatever they catch it, they want to say. And the thing moves and ends up the stomach. Do you know how they think about By command in the name of Jesus. That is cowardly. Baba has his own. Baba has his own three cowardly inside his stomach. Now he's worrying him now. If they operate Baba, they cannot see it. 
it can only come out by command. They too cannot command it out, they can only command it in. They, they can destroy, but they cannot build. They can destroy, but they cannot build. So he commands that inside, but now the thing is worrying him now. He, he cannot vomit it, he cannot command it out. It is by power of God. Abai is here. Yes, okay, let's go. Yes. My name I won in the Adeola Adeyemo. I'm eighty years old. Um Ogun Mary or Dunimi. The Baba said he's eighty four years old. Eighty years old. Omo Omo Nimi Nikiti. Let Baba speak English. You can speak English. Let Baba go ahead. Continue. And then I married her. In nineteen ten, more fell. So nineteen ten, me on a team. Yeah. Ten years now. You say what? Ten years. Ten years. I married you not 10 years ago. I married you long time ago, not 10 years. Say the time, please. Please, say the time. So, but I'm mm. Can the, the car, please, that. can you hold the mic and collect mic from this boy? Please. It's like, uh, maybe he has a spirit of... Talk about to talk louder. We enjoy Baba is very interesting man. Let him let me talk. Okay, let's hear from Baba. Uh -huh. I'm a man almost 18 years ago. That is what I know. Uh -huh. But the date, maybe age is making me to forget. I don't know. Age, I'm 80 or more. Even. Mm. That is it. I married her, uh, and uh, and I most of the fact that is, I did a certain uh, sham to make her be mine, loyal to me, and I do to be loyal to her. We'll be able to go on well. That is it. A fact. That is it. At the table, you can help there. Uh -huh. uh, Baba the, said he married the woman 18 years ago, and he did a charm on her, and that charm will make the wife to be loyal to him, and he also will remain loyal to her. Why can't you tr say it correctly? Baba did a this charm called Ifa, and uh, it's a kind of a covenant that this covenant there is no one that can only God can interpret it's only God that can come to the matter so there is no loyalty in this issue it's a covenant and there is no covenant on the other side and you, your covenant with God too you know what it is and that is it so the lady wants to talk it's like lady is nodding here the lady is a professor uh -huh. auntie uh -huh. Ekọ <laughs> The wife is explaining that while she was in the service last week, 
she vomited out some calories and when she got back home she explained to her husband what she had vomited the cowrie and the husband further explained and confirmed the covenant he'd made with her that was the charm he did that whenever he leaves this world the wife too will leave the world automatically and the, and the husband told her that by vomiting these calories that means that the charm is no longer working so the wife asked him further that how come she was able to find this curry inside her? Did he put it in her food? Then the husband explained that no, I didn't put it in your food, but I commanded the curry inside you. Okay, let me ask Baba. Okay, let's, uh, Baba wants us to talk. Command is a, a powerful tool used by holding uh, Ifa worshippers. You know, incantation, uh, uh, words that are very powerful. They, they move very fast and very sharp, and anywhere they land, many things can happen. They, they are very powerful. So you have your own in your stomach, Baba? I have my two, three. Inside you? Inside me. Is it worry you now? Mm, as an old man, I will say no, but I want it out. I want it out. <laughs> you want it out? You say what? I want it out. I want to... But you have been vomiting since three days. Because these three connect together. Once your wife own is out, it will affect your own. Because it will pari paso. They are together. You know, my own and me, I used to have a stomach Serious one. And then I would put cola in the mouth to stop the vomiting. I want to vomit it. I like to push it out. Like my wife. <laughs> So you don't, so you don't have, uh, you, you don't have any way you can command it out since you are the one command it inside. Uh, more than uh, three months ago now, my powers and my medicine seems not to be working. The, the powers are coming down. It has come down. And I don't want to use anything to increase the power. I want it to be down so, so that I'll be able to do my own. I, I want it up so that I can have the, um, what do you call it? I have the half door. So how many of these cowries are inside you? I think it's three. It should be three. Cowry. Cowries, yes. It should okay. be three. Okay, you say three cowries are inside him. Okay, what is the use of that? What is the purpose of that cowry inside you? Inside you? It's powers. We use it when it is needed. We send the message work differently because when there is thunder you feel it because it work one of it work with the thunder give it to Baba thunder thunder okay I can say yes yes okay if tell you, us what is the purpose of that scowl inside your stomach if you if you want to uh, send back a signal somewhere you can use it by thunder you move it fast and uh, hit the place like a thunder works and uh, kill that is how you can use it okay the one of it you use it to send our, uh, something powerful message okay like a harrow more than harrow more than harrow you can say gone or, or this thing that uh, 